there, this is Joanne from Tally Girl 2's Treasures, and this is the fourth video in a series of unboxing a 22 pound box of mystery jewelry from Shop Goodwill. Um, it's been an amazing box so far. I have found lots of silver, I have found 10 karat gold, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, and a ton of rings. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and see what's in this very last bag. Okay, first item I am pulling out is a blue kind of statement necklace that has a mesh chain on the back. Stones are, the beads are plastic, but it is pretty, and let me get the hair out of it. Okay, that's a nice piece. And then here we have a bracelet kind of a unique clasp to it. Um, that's pretty. Kind of looks like, what are these called? The little, kind of like the little ball chains. Huh. That's nice. But that was something else to kind of pair it up. Here's a clamper bracelet. They aren't seashells, but it kind of reminds me of seashells. In really great shape. I don't see a maker's mark on it. Here is another bracelet. Ooh, that's pretty. Lots of sparkles. And it looks like, oh no, one's missing. I hate that. That wouldn't actually, oh no, there's another one. There's two tiny little ones missing. That wouldn't change me wearing it. But I mean, I can't sell it by itself with two little ones missing. So sad to say this will end up in a craft lot. That's really pretty though. All right. I'm pulling the larger items out first because there is a bunch of little ones down there. I know we're going to be tangled up. Here is a gold tone necklace. I like that one with the detail, kind of like the little spikes or something. It's really pretty. And oops. try not to lose any of it to the floor. All right, here's an amber cover, amber colored. Yes, I can speak. Um, amber colored necklace. They're plastic, but they're actually cut very nicely. They're very faceted and that would look nice for the fall. We are not going to have fall here in Florida for a little bit. It did cool down a little bit today, but um, still in short sleeve shirt. I know some people are all bundled up already. I have no idea what this is. I'm talking. This looks like a bunch of broken chains. Yeah. All right. Cut that loss and move along. All right, so here is a multi-strand silver toned with some faux or fake little pearls. And wait, I see something on here that says love. Okay, that's kind of pretty. I don't know why this, but this reminds me of like the 80s and Madonna when she would like, I don't know why, but it really does with just the look of it. I don't think it's vintage, but it just has that look. Okay, this is kind of heavy. And some long chain with silver tone. It's really heavy. Let's see if there's a name on it. Oh, this one. Oh, I got a cat jumping up to say hello. Scooby. Yes, my cat's name is Scooby. Um, this is Premier Design. But it's actually a pretty solid piece. Usually when I find Premier Design, they're not this quality. This is actually really nice. All right, Scooby. <sighs> Sorry, I had to get the cat off the table. He decided he wanted to be in the video. Um, these are plastic, stretchy bracelet. All right, here is a couple tangled masks going on. There we go. Um, this one kind of looks like an Alex and Ani one, but it is not. Kind of a copycat. A bangle. Actually, I have this in the other bag, so I'll put that with the other ones. My story isn't over yet with a semicolon. That's different. All right. Um, here's a necklace that just fell apart. Just a chain. 
Here is a bracelet. Those are just plastic beads. I hear him coming back again. So if my cat jumps on the table, no surprise here. All right, so here's a broken chain and that has the same thing on it as one in the other bag that was broken. So I'm guessing this is probably what it, it went with. And, oh, this is pretty. Has a tag on it. Gorgeous glass. Alexander Califano or Fano, Las Vegas. That's really pretty. That's well made. Here's a stretchy rhinestone bracelet. And we have some pearls, plastic pearls. And we have some more plastic pearls with gold tone beads. And this is like a choker, the memory. Oh, I, I couldn't wear this. But um, definitely it's a wearable item. It's just, I, I, I feel like I was being strangled. But it'll go in a craft lot and somebody can do what they want with it. Here's a chain, actually has been broken, so there's no class, so that I'm gonna just drop right in the craft box behind me. We have tons of these beads in this slot, so obviously something fell apart. This is weird, this is a plastic bracelet, I guess, but it's tied off, and there's, looks like a little clam. And I wanna see what's in the clam. And my nails are not cooperating, oh, there we go. Oh, it's supposed to be a little oyster with little tiny, oh, that's kind of cute, little tiny pearls in it. Well, somebody will have fun with that. All right, and we have another rhinestone bracelet. That's pretty. And, oh, nice. I might have to keep this St. Patrick's Day bracelet stretchy. It still has some stretch in it. Go Irish. Yeah, I don't have anything for St. Patrick's Day. There you have your green and you can't get pinched. This is a very um, chunky piece of a chain, craft lot item. This is heavy, very heavy. Um, oh, this is Napier. That's a pretty bracelet, gold tone. Okay, I had one in the other bag of the same exact. So we have another one of these stretchy bracelets. Here's a wide bangle bracelet. It has quite a bit of wear on it. I don't see any marking of silver. Oh, it's not magnetic. I don't think it's silver, but uh, when we're testing it, we'll go ahead and look at that anyways. Okay, here's a necklace. What's going on here? Has that kind of little clasp on it. This is weird right here. But it says C7. That was a fake out. I was thinking it was going to say something. And it looks like it might have had a stone or something on the front of it that disappeared. So not really usable. Here's a silver tone chain. And don't see, I don't see any markings on it. Do not think that's silver. Um, here's a bangle, a little random bit of jewelry. This is pretty. It's real pretty. I like this one. Doesn't have a name on it. However, it's missing a couple stones, so that's going right in the craft lot, but this is fun to craft with. So that will go. Here's a little stretchy ring. These are plastic, but it's pretty. Um, let's see. This is a vintage one, I think. This is Listener. Listener. Can you see the silver's coming off? Um, so I probably wouldn't sell this as a piece by itself, but put it in a craft lot 
for just vintage. So I'm intending to do because I have quite a few bags to go through. All right, here's the hematite necklace with a heart. I had one similar to this with clear stones. This one has pink ones. Here is something, something, no idea, something. What in the world is that? It came off of whatever it is. Um, here's a little Christmas tree enamel. Doesn't have the pin on it anymore. Here's a rather substantial ring. Does not have anything on the inside. We have a pink rhinestone. Here's a multicolored kind of band. Looks like there's hearts underneath. It looks like it's discolored. I don't know. And that one here is a cuff link for T. And something that fell off a chain, the pendant. Here is another kind of puffy bracelet, uh, not puffy bracelet, puffy heart. Ouch. Um, I think this is like my third one in the box. Very similar. It was from the same person. They definitely like, but each one's a little bit different. I stuck myself with this. It's a little pin. It's gold filled. So I'll put that to the side. I didn't know this, but someone told me that you can actually get something for gold filled jewelry. Here's a ring. I don't see any markings inside, but how pretty is that? That's really, really sparkling right now. Again, this, this box, I have tons and tons of rings. Here is a tiny ring and it doesn't have a lot of sparkle to it. It looks more like a kid size ring. Alright, here's one. Oh, that's fun. It's an alligator or crocodile. That's real fun. Has, oh, it's a bummer though. It has a lot of wear on it. Or that would have been something that would have been a good seller, I would think, because it's kind of different. Alright, grab here. Here's just a plain gold tone chain. I don't mind those. I put those off to the side and then I'll pair them up with, um, here's more rings. I'm going to pair them up. Look at all these. Whoops. And I'm throwing them. Oh my gosh. I emptied like the bits of the, so now I have earrings and rings everywhere. Um, anyways, here's a ring. That's pretty. The golden colored rhinestones. And this is definitely costume jewelry, but it's cute with little flowers on it. Rhinestones. This one. This is 925, but it looks like the gold tone part, whatever they put on the um, 925 to make it gold, whether it's a little bit of gold or not, or just like a chemical reaction. I don't know anything about that, but it's coming off. Um, so this will probably be a craft lot item because somebody can go ahead and gather those stones. And this one doesn't have anything inside, but it's pink. Very pretty. This one's a flower, kind of a copper color. And it does have a marking in there. So, this is 925, but I've never seen 925 with a copper finish. So I'll definitely have to look at that one closer. This one's kind of a shame. You can see the copper coming through and it has a, it's not cold. It's a fake, fake stone, but it has a nice cut to it. Even if it was all copper and not the silver, like you want to just get the rest of the finish off and you can go ahead and wear that. All right, I had to go ahead and pause it for a minute to untangle a big mess of jewelry. And the two biggest culprits in there were these two with the kind of the wire chains on them. 
Um, yeah, not a super big fan of this style, simply because they make it almost impossible to get the jewelry untangled. They hold them hostage in there. Um, so these I'll put in separate bags, and I'm actually just going to put them in the craft lot um, now that I got these out. And then there was also this one here that has just little pink bead dangles hanging off. It's actually kind of cute, but the wires don't stay nice you must I don't know I guess you could steam them out I'm not sure how you would get straighten them out um, so I'll put those together in a bag so they don't take someone else's afternoon up trying to detangle them um, in the massive tangle there was this which is just like a fabric braided with a little thing of bead in between um, I think that's a craft lot item too um, this one is a very long chain. It's completely wearable. So I'm putting this in. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the pile, but it probably will just end up in a craft lot. Um, this one has a cute little diamond shape here with dangles, except it's missing some. So I'm going to drop this in the craft box right behind me. So that already went in. Here's just a plain gold tone chain. It is not 14 karat or any kind of precious metal. Here's a necklace, and I'm thinking this is a cat. Let me know what you think that is, but I think it's a cat. It's very thin, it's not super duper amazing, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the craft, one of the craft boxes. I have a couple going here, and I'm just kind of randomly putting things in, anything that is like the ones that get tangled up or little bits of beads and things like that, I'm putting them in separate little baggies so to make whoever buys them's life a little bit easier, but um, there's just gonna be a lot of stuff in there. This is another one of those glass, you know, you put your glasses on, I don't know what you call these things, but they hold your glasses, so I don't use them, but there is some beading on here, so that can go in the craft box. It hardly weighs anything, so somebody can harvest those beads. Um, this is kind of pretty. They're plastic, but I actually really like the shimmer on this. It's really long. They're plastic, pink, and there's some silver tone. But they have a nice shimmer to them, kind of iridescent. I like that. Um, there were these pair of earrings in there, these little fish hook earrings, love to get tangled up, but at least I found both of them, and those are really pretty. And then there were these, and these might be something I keep, I don't know, I like them, they're kind of that purple color, and they are have a lot of sparkle to them, I really like those. And then a random, there were two random glass beads, um, again the fish hooks, and this one was super fun, the chain's got in between the little flowers, another earring, I don't know if I'm going to find mates to them, um, a necklace with a heart, it kind of has a little bit too much wear for me to resell another way, so that's going to go in craft lot, this one is in horrible shape, um, but there's pretty pink little rhinestones in there, so I can put it in a craft lot. It doesn't weigh much of anything, and I will cram those boxes filled so some of you will get a good deal. They can pick the those little stones out of there. All right, oops, sorry, hit my arm. Um, this is a Claire's necklace. It has BF for best friend. Let's see what else. This is a little, did I have the right side? There's a little owl, that's really cute. Here is a little rhinestone in the shape of a star. It's actually pretty well done, I like that. Um, but it does not have a maker's mark on it or anything. It's in good condition, so I'll kind of keep that to the side for now. Um, this one was really pretty, but this one was a hot mess and it might even tangle up as I'm trying to show it. Uh, see, it's doing it again, and um, it has three layers. I'm just going to hold this way, because as soon as I lay it down, it's going to tangle on me. So it has a little tiny rhinestone, and then a little pearl, and then it has this one. It is really pretty, but boy, that was a mess to untangle. So it's the kind of thing, like, 
you have to store it in a certain way or else you're going to have a hot mess. I'm afraid to lay it down and have to untangle it again. Um, this one's really pretty. They look like possibly handmade beads, kind of those lamp work beads. And I'm just curious. It looks like somebody made it, maybe. It has a little uh, toggle clasp. I always would say toggle, but toggle clasp. Um, and it's not magnetic, so I'm going to put that one off to the side, too. All right. And then I found, let's see, this in the bag. And I'll see what else. I'm going to keep pulling out. And then here is a gold tone chain. It doesn't have a name on it or a maker's mark. Oops. Here is a pearl. Different variations in sizes. Kind of a coffee color. And there's that that same brand. I don't know what that is, that RMN, but I had one in the other part of the box that was gray tone, exact same necklace. So I'm not sure. Alright, this is a pearl. They're plastic. A little rough shape. I'll probably end up, I'll try cleaning it up, but throw that in the craft lot. All right, we have some more tangling. If I pause it again, that's just to save time. Here is, oh, this is pretty. This is a bangle bracelet. Lots of rhinestones on it. Actually, it looks in pretty good shape. I don't see any wear. There's a little bit right there, not too bad. That's in good shape. Alright, here's a hematite necklace, barrel clasp, that's pretty. Just to save time, I went ahead and I'm starting to pull things out and kind of lay them out ahead of time because this bag has a lot more little pieces in it and it takes a while to get them in and out. Um, I did find another necklace in there that was like in the last video, the last part of it. It has the same barrel clasp and it has similar hearts, but they're in a, a bronzy kind of finish. Their name is not on it, but that may have fallen off, but it's the same thing. If I pick it up, I get that same, you know, it's the same noise. I have a feeling it's the same maker. Um, there's this. All the pieces are there. They're plastic, but they're cut really pretty. Here's a pendant. Came off of one of those chains. This ring is kind of fun. It looks like just like little bubbles or circles. I didn't see any kind of maker mark on it. This little snowflake has, I think this one saw, excuse me, this one, does it say 9 two? Yeah, inside, it was kind of hard to see. It says in there, it says 925. This little tiny earring stud, just one, has 925. Can you see that right there? Um, this is kind of cool, it's a reversible pendant. So I can put that on one of the chains, just a little bit. This cracked me up, there's only one of these, a little green peanut with googly eyes. Then there was a crucifix and a, oh, here's a random earring dangling off, but this little charm had some letter M and a dog and dance, somebody made a little bracelet. Um, and then over here, these are just single earrings. This one I really like, and I was hoping there was another one in there. It's that bobble bar, but it has a nice color to it, and I, I might keep this to just make it into a tassel for something. I really like it. And these are just random single earrings that'll go in a craft lot. Okay, here's another button cover. There's, um, some rhinestones on this. This would be a great crafting item. A little stretchy bracelet. Oh, there's the bit to that other 
necklace I threw in the craft lot, but I'm gonna leave it in there. And we have some pins, a little heart, some buttons, some more random beads. What's to say? You are beautiful inside and out. That's a really nice little token. Um, and then we have more rings. This one doesn't have any markings in it. I'm gonna do these a little bit quicker because I don't want this too, too long. That's pretty. Kind of a coffee color. Um, no markings on that one. And, all right. Looks like it has GIF inside. I don't know, but it's pretty. It's, um, nothing says silver, so I'm wondering if this might be. I don't know where I put my knife. Oh, there it is. If it's, um, it's not magnetic, so I'll have to look at that. Maybe it'll be. Blah, 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 blah. That's all, folks. No, maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it was handmade and they didn't put a stamp in it. Uh, I'm very tired today. And this one's a little band, no markings on it. Another little ring, kind of, it's just some crystals hanging off of it. All right, a little tiny, this is really tiny. That looks like a child's ring. I can't get that on my pinky. So is this one, this is really tiny too. And this one has a little compass on it. I don't think that's anything. Um, this looks like the other one that was red. Same exact style. This is 925. Let's take that. It's going to be magnetic. This one's not magnet. Oh, no. It's a little magnetic on this side and not on this side. That's very strange. I will definitely. Whoops. Did you have a nice trip? Um, I will definitely test both of them and see for sure, but kind of weird. All right, and here's the locket that will not open for me. Need a little tool or something, but there's the locket. We'll check that out. If there's any photos inside. Um, a pen. It's pretty. Uh, charms as imagine. Here's a herringbone. It says best friends. And... Okay, it says 925. And we have a just a plain silver chain and a plain gold tone chain. Normally in the jewelry boxes, I get a ton of earrings and not that many rings, only a few rings. This time it was the complete opposite. So I showed you the single earrings. I went ahead as we were going through the bags. I would just put the earrings to the side for the most part. There were a few that if the both of them were in there, I went ahead and showed them, but it's not much fun to, to show one earring and then say, I hope there's another one in there. So because there weren't very many of them, I went ahead and just put them to the side to show at the end. And so here are the earrings that I found. A pair of dice, those are really cute. Um, some bigger statement earrings, starfish, um, two different pairs of anchor earrings in there. These are really pretty long chandelier type earrings. The only two that I saw at Maker's Mark on were this one that had the C, I believe that's Charming Charlie's, and then the little roses down here say Express. I think these elephants are really cute. They're not certainly silver, but I think those are cute. So out of here, probably half of them I will be, um, a little more than half, I will actually put up for sale, clean them, put them in little cards, and just list them individually. And then the other ones will just go in the craft lot. So to conclude this box, I wanted to go ahead and show you something I had been pulling out every bag that we opened. I would find a bracelet and when I looked in the first bag there was more than one so I just kind of put them to the side because I was curious how many there were end up being and it was actually became kind of funny but I don't recognize where these would have came from I don't see a maker's mark or anything on them they have like a toggle 
last kind of thing on them. Um, but yeah, I ended up with quite a few. There's the pearl style and this red kind of teardrop. But look how many ended up being in that box. So I'm thinking these are probably brand new and somebody was a jewelry consultant or something and donated them. Um, if you know what company they're from, that would be great. <laughs> but I think I'm probably going to end up just putting them in a craft lot and let someone else figure out what to do with them because there's so many of them. You certainly could have a lot of fun and they're too heavy for me to put in as like a free gift. I know a lot of people do earrings, like little stud earrings or something, but these these would weigh down a package a little bit too much. So these will end up going in a craft lot. All right, so that was the end of my 22 pound um, adventure <laughs> for this box uh, from Shop Goodwill. Thank you so much if you watched all the videos and um, if you would give me any feedback and comments, that would be great to let you, me know how I've done with my beginning of my journey here. Um, I have bought several other boxes that I'm very anxious to get into to go ahead and record. Um, yeah, so I have a lot more to do, but thank you so much for stopping by and please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see a lot more. I'm gonna do more jewelry videos and I have some garage sale footage and also my haul video to go ahead and upload very soon. So thanks again, until next time, bye-bye.